Hey guys, welcome to the Fight Age channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. It's so close, thanks for supporting me, guys. John Fury, the father of the WBC heavyweight title holder Tyson Fury, believes that his son should retire if he cannot agree on a fight with Zhang Zhili. Let's announce the fight with Zhili now. Agree on the cost, send contracts, and prepare money in advance for his holding. Otherwise, get out of here. Tyson is a professional, he is not getting any younger. They can't waste another year. As for me, there is only one fight for Tyson with Zhang Zhili. I think Zhili is a more difficult opponent. He proved it in a fight against Joe Joyce. He is a 2-meter left-handed who can hit. If Tyson Fury doesn't get this fight, then he needs to hang up his gloves, Fury said. Bob Arams, a promoter of the WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury, admitted that he doesn't know where and when the British boxer will return to the ring. I have no idea what Tyson Fury is going to do. I don't know if Fury himself understands what he will do. If I were him, I would try to get in the ring before the end of the year. But I am not him. Fury is an amazing talent. He knows better than all of us what he wants. He will act according to his instructions. In other words, it's ridiculous for a promoter to call the names of rivals and dates. It depends on Tyson Fury and where and when he wants to fight, Arum said. Bob Arum, the promoter of the WBC heavyweight title holder Tyson Fury, said that his words will not fight with the Chinese Zhang Jili, as he is upglided to give a rematch to George Joyce. I think George Joyce has a rematch clause that he activated, so Fury's fight with Jili will not take place, because the Chinese fighter is upglided to have a rematch with George Joyce. I'm not a promoter of any of them, but I assume that it will be so. I will not interfere with people who have contracts. Am I going to say, hey, Tyson Fury is going to fight with you when he is supposed to fight your Joyce? It would be wrong, Aaron said. The British WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury broke his silence on social networks to explain why he most likely will not appear in the ring this summer. According to the Gypsy King, his fists are itching very much. But everyone who currently makes up the heavyweight elite is either busy or too greedy. I've been away for a while. I was on vacation, got high, trained, and didn't forget to eat. I just want to say that I want to knock out each of these motherfuckers. I haven't fought since December, and it's not my fault. Also, Andy Ruiz, this dude asked for 20 million dollars. Stupid little shit. I don't even know where he got these numbers from. I was looking at a fight with Zhang Julie, but Joyce wanted a rematch. So we want to be able to do it right now. I want to fight anyone, anywhere. I can't wait to fight AJ. I have you all because I am the coolest motherfucker on the planet, Fury said. And the Furious British boxer Tyson Fury reacted to the words of UFC commentator Joe Rogan, who suggested that Tyson has no chance of winning a real fight against MMA legend John Jones. I heard Joe Rogan blabbed something about me there. I've been disconnected from all social networks for a while, and therefore I didn't ask for this little pussy, a fucking dwarf with a bald head, Fury said. I heard him say that John Jones would beat me if we were looked in the room. I don't think so. No husband born of a mortal woman is capable of fucking me in a room one on one. No matter what happens in this room, I will leave it in any case. It's not a fucking problem at all, Fury said. As we previously reported, WBC heavyweight world champion Tyson Fury lashed out at UFC commentator Joe Rogan. The thing is that Joe said that the Briton would not be able to beat the owner of the organization's title in the heavyweight division, American John Jones. According to the rules of MMA, John Jones reacted to Fury's criticism and said he was ready to give Tyson the opportunity to try his luck in the octagon. According to John, for this Fury, all that needs to be done is to contact UFC president Dana White. Hey Tyson, Joe seems to have hit a nerve with you. I admit that no one can touch you in the ring right now, but let's not confuse you with what will happen if you enter my cage. 
If you are ready to forget about some of the questions that you have, then call Dana White. I will help you, John said. Congolese heavyweight Martin Bacoli reacted to the statement of the WBC world champion and his weight, written Tyson Fury, that no one wants to fight him. Martin claims that he can easily solve Fury's problem by offering his candidacy as an opponent. According to Bacoli, he is a good option for a champion as he occupies worthy places in the rankings. Hi, Tyson Fury, I heard you are looking for an opponent. I am available. Call my team. I am number 7 in the WBC and number 2 in the WBA rating. I am ready, Bacoli said. Former world heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua is not planning to boxing with former UFC star Francis Nagano. This news was announced by AJ's promoter Eddie Hearn. I talked to Anthony Joshua about this fight. He likes the idea, but now he is focused on his boxing career and he doesn't want to be distracted by extra nervous things, although Snagano is a dangerous opponent. Anthony wants to prepare for a fight against Dante Wilder, and he doesn't think Nagano will be able to prepare him for Dante. You know, I had a meeting with Nagano in Vegas. We chatted with him for two hours. One of the most exciting meetings I've ever had. His story is incredible. I just asked question after question about his life and how he ended up where he is in now. I don't think anyone can say something like that. His story is incredible, he didn't say it. Malik Scott, the trainer of former world heavyweight champion American Dandy Wilder, is against Britain Anthony Joshua, holding an interim fight before meeting with his word in December. The coach is worried that AJ some knocked out early for his fighter. I think that if a fighter who really believes in himself meets Anthony Joshua, then he has a good chance of winning. You can be a clear outsider, but if you really believe in yourself, train, work hard, and can use loopholes, then you can knock him out. I don't really think about it, but let's just say I'm against Joshua, holding an interim fight. I want Dante to knock Anthony out. In the form in which he is now, Joshua may not live until December. I have nothing more to say, let's see, now he is running with Eric James, one of the best coaches in the world, Scott Shard. Joshua is waiting for the hardest fight of his career. Over the past few months, Dante Wilder has repeatedly challenged the British heavyweight to a duel. At first, AJ categorically refused this meeting. The career of the ex-world champion in three versions can only be reweaved by another loud duel. If there is some confidence in Wilder's form, then Anthony's condition looks extremely doubtful. The Briton held his last fight at home in London on April 1st against Jermaine Franklin. Joshua looked better than his opponent, but managed to defeat the little-known American only by decision. To be sure, it was necessary to win ahead of shadow. However, due to previous failures, the Briton does not impose such a high pace as before. His previous plan was to knock out his opponent as quickly as possible. Joshua's counterpart got lost on the pressure and only by one fell into a knockout. Having lost his former confidence, Anthony is now thinking about how not to miss the kick himself. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.